Hello and welcome to this short webinar on specification of concrete to BS8500. And this section is about specification methods that there are available for us in BS8500. Um, there are basically five um, specification methods that are detailed within the, the, the code. Um, designated concrete, designed concrete, prescribed concrete, standardized prescribed concrete and proprietary concrete. Um, the, the first two design, designed and design, designated concretes are the ones that we mostly use uh, and I'll go into those in a bit of detail um, and then just j briefly talk about the other three. So designated concretes, they're simple um, and they are reliable form. Uh, they, uh, designated concretes have the sort of designation, so uh, if you've ever heard of Gen 1 concrete or RC2025 concrete, those, that is a designated concrete. Um, it's, uh, it, the um, strength, the durability and the performance uh, requirements are, are specified. You, you, given, the, given the designation, you then uh, have, you can, you can see what that's supposed to achieve. Um, all designated concrete should be coming from um, uh, uh, a concrete producer that has third party accreditation um, because they basically um, say uh, you guarantee warranty that um, the concrete that they provide has been tested and will um, achieve what you want it to achieve. Uh, you need to um, uh, uh, specify a maximum aggregate size, although if you're using 20 millimeter maximum aggregate size, then that's taken as red, but you can uh, specify a different one. And you also need to specify the consistency. Um, normally you would get that from your um, contractor, as what consistently they're, lo they're looking for. Um, the, the producer can then vary the amount of cement, uh, the cement type, um, the aggregates um, to to match what what's needed, um, either from his um, or her his or her um, uh, production site, um, uh, where you are in the country, um, how far away you are from the, the site that's being delivered to is from the concrete producer. Um, all the, at the time of year it is, uh, the weather it is, all can be mod modified slightly in order to make sure that you've got the correct concrete uh, arriving at your site at the right time. The only thing with the designated concretes is that you can't use them if your exposure class is an XS or an XD um, exposure class, uh, so it can't be used in the presence of chlorides. So designated concrete, the basic specification requirements, so it's very simple to specify. You use the concrete designation, you, you specify the maximum aggregate size, and you specify the consistency class. So it's really simple. Um, you can specify other things. Um, so you can specify things like um, the cement type, um, whether you want to have an accelerated or retarded set. If, if you want a colored concrete, you can, you can specify the concrete fibers or air content or oh, that sort of thing can be specified. So it's not, it's, it, you can specify more, but the, uh, but the simple the simple way of doing it is just to do the basic uh, specification requirements if that will suit your conc the, the concrete that you want. Um, so the various tables within uh, BSX 500 um, uh, to do with designated concretes, this one table uh, A3 uh, gives you the, the an example use um, of the designated concrete. Uh, gives you the uh, minimum designated concrete uh, for that use, uh, the cover and the exposure class that would be um, appropriate. Um, so, for example, if you had an external concrete um, vertical element, um, and you're looking at, you know, so you're looking at XC34 for the exposure class plus XF1, I it's free store, there was a possibility of free, free store, then it gives you the designated concrete and you can choose between those three sorts of designated concrete. I've just highlighted an RC3037 where you'd need a nominal cover of 25 plus the standard deviation. Um, 
then um, it also has table six in here that gives you the, this is in table, this is from 8500 part two, which is for the concrete producer. Um, and this will tell the, this tells the producer for a specific uh, concrete designation, for example, RC 20, 2025, what the strength should be, what the standard slump class is, although you're allowed to modify that, um, uh, the maximum water cement ratio, the, the minimum cement content, and the types of cement that you can use within that designated concrete. Um, so that's a really useful um, way of, of uh, method of specifying concrete. If you've got chlorides, or if you want something more as be to have more flexibility in what you're what you are specifying, then uh, we recommend that you use a designed concrete. Um, so designated concrete or designed concrete are the two that we would recommend you use. Designed concretes um, permit uh, quite a lot of flexibility and they are suitable for almost all applications. Um, they, if you're worrying about the, or thinking about the embodied carbon within your concrete, then you can use the designed concrete to, um, to, to minimize your um, uh, embodied carbon. Um, and if you're doing any visual concrete, uh, we recommend you use design concretes because uh, you, the, it gives you more um, control over what goes into the, into, the, into the concrete. So the basic specification requirements are more, there's more that you require um, than the designated concrete. Uh, so you've got the strength class and the aggregate size, but you also talk about the water cement ratio, the cement type, and various other bits as well. Um, but you can uh, you can add extra like you can with the definite concrete, but you can add more. So you can you can talk about the um, aggregate type. So you can talk about recycled aggregate if you if you're if that's what you're using. Um, you can talk about uh, air entrainment. Um, you can talk about tensile strength within design concretes if that's what you need. Um, so those are the two that we recommend. The, the other three um, are important, but um, uh, and, and, and you can certainly look at them. The first one is prescribed concretes. Um, and here, you, the specifier gives the exact composition of concrete um, to the producer, uh, and the specifier takes full design responsibility. Um, you cannot um, uh, uh, give a uh, specifier a strength with a prescribed concrete. The assumption is that you know what strength it is going to, to achieve, and it's not up to the concrete producer to uh, get to that strength. It's up to you to have got the, the mix right. So um, it's worth thinking about prescribed concrete if you have, as part of your team, a concrete technologist. Um, standardized prescribed concretes are sort of at the other end of the scale. Uh, they, the idea behind these are it's for it's for small construction sites um, and and small small scale batching. So it basically gives the amount of of it, this is contained within BS8500 Part Two, um, and it gives you the basically the mix for for various different so S, uh, ST1, ST2, ST3. These standardized um, are standardized prescribed concrete mixes, concretes. Um, you can't specify strength for them, although they, there is um, an indication of strength, of strength that can be assumed. You can't actually specify the strength. Um, and if you're looking at embodied carbon, the, um, the, these will almost certainly have a, a much higher embodied carbon than a, a, a designated or a designed concrete. Um, and then there's a, the, then there are a range of proprietary concretes done by the um, uh, concrete producers. Have a look on their websites. They do all sorts of different proprietary concretes that have certain properties. You can have low embodied carbon concretes. You can have porous concretes as shown on this on this picture. You can have coloured concretes. All sorts of different things, um, giving a certain um, a performance um, or property. Um, they don't tell you what's in it, they just tell you what it'll do. Um, and, and it's worth looking at for things like self-compacting self concrete or coloured concrete or various other things. It's worth looking at your propriety concretes. And finally, um, uh, there's, uh, we have two guides um, uh, available from our website. 
uh, free to download, um, how to specify a concrete to BS8500 for civil engineering structures and for building structures. Um, these can be downloaded for free from our website um, at that address. Um, I hope you found this useful. Um, goodbye.